Finding a rental in San Diego can feel like an impossible task. Properties are always in high demand and it can feel like you're losing out on the home of your dreams. But even in a competitive market like San Diego, there are things you can do to increase your chances of being selected for a property. Hi, I'm Olivia with Good Life and today I'm going to talk to you about some of the best things you can do to get approved for a rental property. Before we go ahead and get started, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. The first thing you should do to stay on top of new available rentals is to set alerts on relevant websites. Zillow and Apartments.com are two of the most popular ones. You can set your parameters and submit your email to receive fresh listings. Another option is to check property management websites. Although they typically syndicate their available listings to sites like Zillow, Trulia, and Hotpads, applying directly through their site is a great way to get their attention. They may even have a newsletter that you can sign up for to receive their latest listings. A lot of mom and pop landlords prefer the more conventional route and post for rent sides in their yards or windows. This can be a great way to find a decent unit at a great price. Set aside some time on the weekend to drive around neighborhoods that you're interested in moving to and see if you can find one. Lastly, some landlords post their properties on Facebook Marketplace or in local groups. Don't hesitate to check those out too. Another great thing that you can do is view the property. This may seem obvious, but a lot of tenants apply without viewing and then have a lot of issues with the home later. As great as some photos might be, seeing the property in person will give you the best idea of the layout and how your belongings will fit into that space. Next, you want to check if you meet all of the necessary requirements for the property. Most landlords and property management companies post rental criteria on their websites and rental listings. Be sure to review that before applying. Being able to move in as soon as possible is a great way to increase your odds of approval. Landlords really don't like keeping their property vacant for extended periods of time, so it's helpful for them if you can move in within two weeks of applying. Some requirements found on almost every rental criteria include income threshold, credit score minimum, rental history, background checks, eviction records, and account status. If you don't meet the criteria for each of these items, you might not be approved. Another factor to consider is if the landlord allows pets. Over 50% of San Diego renters have pets, but not all landlords accept them in their home. See if they have any specific requirements in regards to the pet or if you need to submit any additional documentation. Next, it's time to complete the application. Gather all the necessary documents and begin the process. The ideal time to apply is immediately after you viewed the property. If you're applying with roommates, make sure you guys all apply at the same time. If one person takes longer than the rest, your application will be incomplete until everyone has submitted theirs. Anyone over the 18 is typically required to submit an application. The best proof of income you can submit are pay stubs. If your profession is largely based on tips or other forms of payment, we recommend checking with the landlord on what they accept. Before submitting your application, make sure all documents, proof of income, and contact info are correct and attached. Forgetting to include something is an easy way for your application to be passed up. If you're applying as a pet owner, make sure you provide any necessary documentation for the pet as well. Lastly, these are some general tips to remember when applying. Moving is expensive. In addition to those application fees, you're paying moving costs and, if approved, a deposit in the first month's rent. This can get very expensive very quickly. Once you decide to leave your current property, start setting aside some money, especially because your new lease might overlap with your current one. Preparing for this will lessen any financial concerns and increase your chances of getting the property you want without worrying about timing everything perfectly. It's easy to get discouraged in a hot market like San Diego. You might have found plenty of great units that seem to get snatched up within a day or two of posting. But don't worry, new properties pop up every day and you will find a place that fits what you're looking for. Some people recommend writing a brief cover letter to the landlord explaining why you want to live in their home. This can be good for mom and pop landlords, but apartment corporations and property management companies won't factor this into your application. And that wraps up today's video. We hope these tips help you through the application process. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment below. We'll see you next time.